Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here doing a uh, reaction to Ebony K. Williams talking about freezing eggs and all kind of nonsense. Let's have it. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Because I think that that is marketed, not just you, Lauren, I think in general, that is in a lot of these comments, right? Well, girl, just freeze your eggs and don't worry about the rest. Nah, that's some bullshit. Because I'm here to tell you. What I want to know, who is interested in a woman that freezes eggs? I don't think women really think about that. Why would a man want a woman that freezes her eggs when he could just get a young woman? It don't even make sense. Let's carry on because I'm living it, right? I froze eggs at 34. I never thought in a million years I would need to use. At 34, she froze her eggs, guys. But did she really think? At 34, you were already competing with 20-year-olds. It was already too late. Again. Use them, right? Mm -hmm. Because why? I was in a loving, committed relationship. These, these were my spare. Mm-hmm. Have you frozen eggs at this point, dude? No, I thought about doing it last year. I thought about starting the process. Okay, so let me just, and this is. I mean, I don't understand why all these women with money are freezing eggs. You know why they doing it, honestly? They're waiting for a sucker. Cause all you gotta do is simple math. Younger women make better mothers. You don't have to worry about the eggs and all that. Like, literally, you're getting a broken woman. If a woman tell you that she froze her eggs, men, stare clear. Because, obviously, you're a guy that's looking to have children. Just get a younger woman. Why would you want to deal with that? I don't think women understand what we value. We don't want to worry about all that nonsense. And then children probably with eggs frozen come out with all kind of issues and problems. Or it's possible. Not investigative. This is, I'm just trying to see something here. Do you know how many eggs on average a woman should have on ice, on reserve, frozen for a probability of one live birth? No, I don't. About 20. Then if I say, okay, how many egg retrievals are required to get about 20 eggs in a woman that's say 35 and up? The answer is at least two. What's the cost average of an egg retrieval? Amy probably knows this, but he knows it's between 12 and $15,000 mm. per retrieval cycle. That most I mean, I understand why older women do this, but do they think far enough that most men are not interested in women that is freezing eggs. It just sounds ridiculous. So who are you looking for? Are you looking for the sucker? Or a simp? Because that top guy, which they are actually looking for, want nothing to do with that. Okay, let's see what else you got. Insurances don't cover. Most insurances do not cover unless you're working at Google or Amazon. And by the way, you probably need to be married for them to cover it. Otherwise, they consider it elective. Mm -hmm. They don't recognize it as infertility in mm -hmm. the way that married couples that struggle to conceive have. So what I'm saying is the egg freezing route, the single motherhood by choice route, the IVF. Single motherhood by choice. Do you understand, guys, this conversation? Do you guys understand this language? the damage this is how selfish women are that they're willing to bring children into this planet day one fatherless day one never had a chance this is terrible all the things that come with being raised by a single mother they're willing to risk that it's actually selfish if you think about it. Route are amazing technological tools, Lauren, but they are wealthy women tools. Mm. Period. Let's be very clear. That That's is a true. rich woman option. If you are, and I, nobody's more important to me in our society than our educators, right? So let's say I'm talking to my soul who's a teacher in Memphis, Tennessee, who's probably on average making sixty-five to seventy-five thousand dollars a year doing most 
some of the most incredible work of our community. Where's that sister getting $30,000 for two retrievals or even 15000 This is why women need to prioritize marriage. This is the problem. American women do not prioritize marriage. It's actually linked to so many problems in this country. Literally. Feminism. Because as you guys know, feminism can't even exist if, let's just say, all men went after maybe 30-year-olds and under. That will make all women prioritize marriage. Or this is why women shame you for dealing with younger women because they know that takes them off the market. That takes options away from them. Now they feel like they should have prioritized marriage. See, this is what older women do because they play with their time. Why else would you need to freeze your eggs? Let's see what else you got. That's for one. Yeah. And that's before I've done a transfer. That's before I've had a failed transfer and having to do another one, which Envy has experienced, uh, you know, and thank mm -hmm. God they had a healthy uh, baby subsequent that naturally. Right. But uh, you see what I'm saying? It's just more to it than just freezing it. I get you. I think with that part, for me, I was speaking from my own. I mean, just hearing all this is really terrible. She's really explaining it. Just imagine a man just sitting there listening and, you know, women want us to feel emotions and all that. I mean, what this make me feel is getting up, walking away, and blocking her. I, I want nothing to do with it. But let's see what else you got. Personal experience. And I think that, like, hearing you respond to it, mm -hmm. I can understand your response to what I said. But I think maybe I should have been a little bit more clear because yeah. for me at that still freeze them though, by yeah, the way, because you have that, money. At that time when I was thinking about doing it, it was because the insurance that I was getting through my employer supported that to a certain extent where right. anything like yes, it is expensive, but mm -hmm. I would have been able to figure it out. So it I was think a, you guys, we need to steer clear of women who froze their eggs. That kind of woman comes with a lot of uh masculinity also they don't make older women do not make good wives older women do not make good mothers in my opinion i don't know it's something about a young woman having children this why i say if she's over 32 she's not a good pick a wife need to be a young woman literally in her young early 20s i'm gonna say but 30 is okay and not too bad but once you start hitting like 32 and up i say still steer clear and that if all men move like that women would start to prioritize marriage which a lot of men are starting to go at the younger women we got to start letting women shame us should still do it. I, I want that to, I don't want that missed here. I'm still got, encouraging will, you to do it. I will say I got a little bit, I got like scared out of it a little bit. Only because Fear is of, not of God, don't do that. But, but more so because of what like Envy shared with me, what you talked about, like going through all of that and then it- I'll go with you. To not work, right? I'll go with you. We could talk about I'm it. I'm very serious. Okay. I really- Well, they not talking about much else. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.